Hi, my name's Gary England, and I'm the chief meteorologist here at Channel 9 KWTV in Oklahoma City. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about our fantastic new weather maps we have here. The printing, all the color, all the printing, all the graphics that you'll see are printed subsurface. So in other words, they'll just last forever. You can see they're very, very colorful. Uh, just about any color scheme can be used here. Here's an Oklahoma map that we use, and it just looks like a normal map to the viewer. But if we can come in fairly close to show you something we have done, subsurface, clear skies, light winds, temperatures right now in Oklahoma, 70s and 80s. Major flooding, record hot temperatures, and tornado outbreaks. In January of 1977, while most of the nation shivered under bitter cold temperatures, in fact, one of the coldest winters on record, Oklahoma was no exception. In northern Oklahoma County, Deer Creek region, uh, up around where May Avenue goes across the Edmund Road, uh, the water's quite high. In fact, along Edmund Road, they're reporting the uh, water's is fence deep. And let's, I think the best way to look at it, let's take a look at it on uh, Color Scan 9 radar. And uh, as you can see, now, as I mentioned, the severe weather watch is for the, the tornado watch until 8 o'clock is for the western half of the state. And right now, most of it is moving into the central third of the state. And let's see, we put our counties on there. Mike, could we have the counties? Thank you. And this is a large mass of cumulonimbus tops, thunderstorms running from north central Oklahoma to southern section. Tremendous photograph. And here's a line of towering cumulus from Childress back in toward the Lubbock area, and they may well intensify into thunderstorms and move into southwestern Oklahoma. And, and uh, we'll just watch them. If they do, we'll be ready for them. And briefly on the forecast map for tomorrow, not too much change. The front's still in Oklahoma, so we'll have that continuing chance for showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow. Well, if this front will ever shove through, we'll get rid of it. But right now, it doesn't look like a strong likelihood. Uh, present conditions in Oklahoma City, they look this way. South, running about 5. About 72 uh, on the temperature. 90% relative humidity, barometric pressure, 29.98 uh, and unsteady. Forecast. State of Oklahoma not tonight, tornado watch western one half of the state. For Friday, variable cloudiness, warm, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, 62 to 72, the highs Friday and Saturday in the 80s. Low tonight, 68, and the high Friday and Saturday are around, uh, well, that doesn't look right, folks. That should be low tonight, 68. The high Friday and Saturday should be 85. The high Friday will not be 68. <laughs> We're going to get it rolling. And to sign off because of the rising water. Right. You can imagine, though, what we at home were visualizing later up on the couch about half asleep and hear Gary signing off. I could just see you up here like well, this. Well, it wasn't it got so deep. It, 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 it came horizontal. We had heavy rain and 70 mile an hour wind and yeah. it blew it in. I got you. And uh, it was an interesting night. It may be another interesting night. <laughs> yeah. There it is. A very large, very dangerous storm. If you're in the path of this storm moving through Harmon, Greer, and Jackson County, you should be alert to the possibility, the strong likelihood that there will be a tornado. Some continue to call those, uh, that activity over Lawton as high straight winds. Uh, there was a little bit more to it, I guess, Gary. Yeah, that's Altus, by the way, Jerry. What did I say? Uh, uh, Lawton. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're gonna be all right, I know you've been ill. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, quite a storm moved down through that area. We have a uh, slide I'd like to show you, a photograph taken last night. Uh, we had Bud Hill and Mike Arnett down there. And it's very, very dark. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do any. Yeah, there you can see it a little bit. If you kill that light there for me, Kevin. Thank you. Okay, you can see over here on the right, there's one, this is a very large wall cloud, and it's back in under this cloud here. But on the right, you have a tornado there. It's a funnel not touching touching the ground. You have another funnel in this area here, and you have one right over here. You have three funnels rotating around a very large wall cloud. Uh, the circulation we had on uh, radar was about eight miles across as it moved in over the Altus area. The folks in Altus are just very, very fortunate. They just didn't get completely blown away. That green building you see in the graphic right there is where Gary was talking about last night in this transmitter. Transmitter sends the pulse up the uh, radar tower up to the antenna where it, the antenna sends out a pencil width beam out towards the thunderstorm and out there it interrogates the thunderstorm, gets the data and then uh, goes back into the radar tower and then back uh, into the transmitter room where a computer takes that data, processes it and that's where it tells us whether the raindrops are moving towards the radar area or away from the radar site. And now we receive this information from the National Weather Service that confirms ours, a tornado about 15 miles south of Enid uh, moving to the northeast, so it may take in the east part of Enid and on to the northeast. So once again, tornado warning for Garfield County. And if we come back down here, 
This tornado, as I mentioned, uh, still indicated on radar, but has not come down and touched the ground yet. We'll keep you advised. It still continues to be indicated by radar. There's a circulation with this about three miles across, and it's going to be moving, it uh, looks like, onto the northeast toward the Midwest City, Dell City area. And still, you folks in the Moore area should be extremely alert. And a tornado warning also continues for Garfield County up in northern Oklahoma. And all of these continue uh, in effect for about another uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll keep you advised. Let's just take, let's just do it this way. Let's take in once again about the eastern two-thirds of Oklahoma County, but near the intersection of Reno Street and Midwest Boulevard, Boulevard, out in this area here, tornado reported on the ground, and we do have a very strong indication on radar. So tornado warning continues for the eastern two-thirds of Oklahoma County, the northwestern one-half of Lincoln County, and southeastern Logan County. So once again, on precautions, if you haven't heard it, if you don't have a cellar or basement, go to the center part of your house. Lowest level, smallest room, preferably a closet or bathroom. Wrap yourself in a blanket, put a mattress over you. This is Guthrie. This is Guthrie right in here. And here's Mill Hall. And this tornado is in northeastern Kingfisher County. It's going to be moving to the northeast through northern Logan County toward Orlando. A little bit later, Perry. Uh, Stillwater, it looks like it'll pass north of them, but Stillwater should keep advised of this. We do have a strong tornado indicated on radar, northeastern Kingfisher County, moving to the northeast. We'll keep you advised on that one. And also down here, tornado continues to be reported uh, in the eastern part of Oklahoma County. Uh, there has been quite a bit of damage reported. The extent of it, we don't know at the present time, but we're getting, uh, we've got many reports of tornadoes on the grounds, funnels, and quite a bit of damage. Some winds estimated in excess of 100 miles per hour. Also, could we take a look now at our radar, please? Okay, we're confirmed on this tornado indicated by radar now. Right, there it is, the center of the circle in northeastern Kingfisher County moving northeastward. Also, I do want to say, you folks, back to the west. A little bit earlier, it still may, there's a, we do have some indication of a circulation out in the west of El Reno and the Minko area, so that section should also be on alert to the possibility of a tornado. Stay with us here on 9, we'll keep you advised. Tornado warning continues now and has been extended officially. I gave this to you earlier, but they extended over into Oklahoma County uh, to, uh, let's call it, they're calling all of Oklahoma County, but right now mainly it looks like it would be the eastern uh, one half of Oklahoma County, Lincoln, Logan, and Payne counties. And they've had a tor we've had several tornadoes confirmed, but they say here tornado confirmed just northeast of Oklahoma City, moving northeast at 30. We've had considerable damage reported, and please do not drive into these areas. Uh, just don't go out there. Let's take a quick look at our radar. Okay, up to the uh, north is where the this section of Oklahoma County, on up into Lincoln, and also they're extending it up into Logan and Payne County. Now we have a tornado indicated right up here. And that's moving across northern, moving across northern Logan County. Also, I might add that back down to our west of Oklahoma City, very strong thunderstorms are moving into the city area, so you should stay alert to the possibility of severe weather. Covers this part of Oklahoma County into Lincoln, on up into Payne, and back into Logan. Actually, there are two tornadoes. There's one up in this section northeast of Oklahoma City, moving toward Arcadia, Luther up this way. There's some indication that one is weakening just a little bit. Uh, however, we also indicate on radar a tornado in this general location. It'll be moving to the northeast or east-northeast. So a tornado warning for Logan, Payne, northwestern Lincoln, and Oklahoma County. Right now, it is the eastern, about the eastern half of Oklahoma County. However, back to the west of Oklahoma City, we have very strong thunderstorms. We have been picking up some circulation back there, but no tornado indicated. So stay, uh, stay advised of the latest conditions, and we'll, we'll keep you advised. Okay, here's Oklahoma City. Here's Lake Hefner. Here's the turnpike going to Tulsa. The tornado indicated on our radar, very strong, right in this location. Now here is Arcadia and here's Luther, and it's moving on to the northeast at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. And uh, residents in Kearney, Four Corners, later Agra, especially Perkins, possibly Stillwater, and possibly Cushing should be alert to the possibility of a tornado. So once again, tornado warning continues for this section. We call it Eastern Oklahoma County. Lincoln County, Payne County, and Logan County. We have another tornado indicated up moving uh, through northern Logan County. And uh, we also have uh, a lot of other thunderstorms approaching the Oklahoma City area. Yeah. Tornado confirmed five north of Arcadia. We have it uh, confirmed on the ground. Yes. We have a tornado confirmed on the ground five miles north of Ar Arcadia. That's right where we just spotted it on our radar just a moment ago. 
I can't stress enough, you folks, the path of this storm, you should take immediate safety precautions. Uh, this is a major tornado and appears we're having a rather significant tornado outbreak. So everyone viewing, everyone in the area should prepare to take safety precautions. We have thunderstorms, strong ones approaching the Oklahoma City area. Southeast about four or five miles per hour. Kind of nice uh, shower and thunderstorm activity. Uh, we had a little bit around and the next couple days we have a little bit more, but it's not much there. It's down in southern Oklahoma and not much moving. It's very light, but next two days, uh, no significant change. Probability of precipitation about 10 to 20 percent, so not too great. Let's check the satellite picture and the far northwest skies are mostly clear and have been, well, you know, Clear to part of the cloud here in Oklahoma and on up into the northeast. Heavy cloud cover down along the Gulf Coast and very heavy cloud cover. It's kind of a dreary. It's been raining. It had been raining quite as much, but uh, still raining very heavily in some areas. And there you can see the heavy thunderstorms. There's flash flood watches, southern Nevada, southern California, and parts of Arizona. And you can see down along the Gulf Coast in Texas some thunderstorms, and there's the thunderstorm activity. Uh, most of it, I think, the heaviest activity right now is over in Pennsylvania. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I'm not either. She is. That's a cute dog. She's a cute dog. She's yeah. a good sport too. She's a good. Well, it took that. It I took a half hour to get those on. Let's take a look at the temperature. Uh, it's coming in in Oklahoma City at 28. Relative humidity 75 percent. Barometric pressure is at 30.19 uh, and steady. Winds north at five. Just a little bit on the cold side tonight. We'll call it a little bit cold in the morning. It is going to warm up across Oklahoma tomorrow, but the winds are going to come up fierce out of the south, 15 to 30 miles per hour, with some cases much higher gusts. The temperatures will be warmer, but the winds will be up. Slight chance, 20% or less, for some little bit of rain or such late uh, Saturday night and early Sunday, but right now it does not look significant. For a storm system uh, moving in the northwest coast, but really the next several days, it just appears that uh, we're not going to have any significant changes. Some minor, 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 Minor. Is that a wasp? Get that rascal out of here, will you? <laughs> There's the five day forecast. Wasp and all. 61. Excuse me, folks. 61. You step on it. 59 Sunday. 55 Monday. 58 Tuesday. Wednesday. 60. Four that was live television on January the 10th. I don't know if you could hear Patty back there yelling, hit it, and uh, Chris over here hit it with a, with a newspaper, and uh, it was, uh, it was, I thought that was a classic, you know. You were very brave in you the face brave. of the killer wasp. Chicken, yeah. I left the set early. I... Hey, I don't like those things either. I don't. They scare me. They hurt. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you, Gary.